mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. It's a transit point. And we were bought from Africa. But where do we come from? That's what you should be asking. What is our native language? What is our native culture? What is our real uh, real God? Not religion, because we don't have religion. They teach that the Bible talks about religion when this Bible doesn't talk about religion. This Bible speaks against religion. This Bible is black culture. And you let the oppressor in some church make you believe that this is their book. This ain't the white man's book. If it's the white man's book, why does it prophesy him going into slavery under black people? You didn't know that was in there, did you? If this is the oppressor's book, why does it prophesy the destruction of America? Everybody cried for 9-11. What's coming to America is going to be worse than 9-11. You won't be able to blame the Arabs. You won't be able to blame us. You won't be able to blame anybody but God. Because it's going to be judgment. You understand? This book is real black culture. Nobody probably ever told you this black man, Hispanic man, Native American Indian man. You are the people in the Bible. That's right. You are the real children of Israel. That's what you're reading about. When you read about Christ, he was a just like us, a black man. His mother was a black woman. Joseph was black. Moses was black. And I know y'all think, I know a lot of you oppressors, you say, why do you want to blackwash everything? We're not blackwashing anything. We're telling you the truth about what's in this Bible. You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't believe me? I can show you Christ is black. Give me revelation. Right. E easy over there talking Ethiopian. Now, I thought you didn't know. Yeah. E e listen, man, he's a liar. You're right, yeah. Don't, you have nothing to prove to them. Listen, this, I, we understand. We knew you were lying. Just like all Ethiopians, we knew you hate black people, just like all Ethiopians. You understand that you get off on humiliating black people. Because everybody does. Everybody comes to America and they get off on stepping on you, looking down on us. But we built this nation. Right. We built this very place that you stand on for you to come over here and look down on us. And still to this day, we're the people that keep it going. You tell black people, don't go to work. For two days, America was shut down. It was shut, that's right, brother. It was shut down. You tell black Hispanics and Native Americans, y'all don't go to work Monday and watch how it'll be a national crisis. Because we are the people that make this place run the same way we made Egypt run as the Hebrew slaves. Right. You understand? We are God's people. I'm going to show you that Christ is black. I'm going to show you right here. Hey, everybody want to believe that this is Christ. Even the Ethiopian, he looked at this and said, why do you hate Christ? Because he thinks this is Christ. He thinks we hate Christ because we call him the oppressor of the devil. This is not Christ, Ethiopian. You understand? I'm going to come right back to this after. Why the camera? This woman here, she pulled easy aside to talk to him. And she ain't talk to Daniel. Right. You see that? And they like to talk about we all black. We ain't all black. Right. The Bible says every beast loveth his kind. That's right. Ethiopians love Ethiopians. Somalians right. love Somalians. Eritreans love Eritrea. Right. And together they all hate us. That's right. That's why we got to separate from them. That's right. Get that cap in the hand, man. Right. Now I'm going to read you in the Bible right here that Christ was black. You understand? Christ wasn't Middle Eastern. Ain't that what they tell you? Whenever we say Christ wasn't white, everybody always got to deflect. Well, Christ was olive color. Christ was Middle Eastern. Christ was brown. They can never say that Christ was a black man. Right. You know why? Because that's too much close to the truth. It's the truth. You can let Christ be a white man. We sat and listened and watched this movie of Christ being white for 400 years. Right. Moses being white for 400 years. And in the moment we come out and tell the truth, 
You can't admit the truth. I'm going to show you in the Bible, Christ is black. Read. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. What does the word revelation mean? Where are you good Christian scholars at? In the name of Jesus, where are you at? What does the word revelation mean? Anybody know? I'll tell you, it means to reveal. And this Bible is going, this, this excuse me, this chapter, this book in Revelation is going to tell you that we're going to reveal Jesus Christ. Read it again. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, my question to you is, why does God have to reveal who Jesus Christ is? Why do we have these records to reveal to you who Jesus Christ is? I'll tell you. Because the Bible prophesied there will be a people that would hide what he really looks like. Right. There will be a people that will lie about what Jesus Christ actually looks like. So now we have these records to tell you Jesus Christ is not him. And he doesn't look like him. He's not from the same bloodline as them. Let's find out what Christ looks like. Let's reveal what the King and Savior looks like. Read the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. In the midst of the seven candlesticks. The seven candlesticks represent the seven schools in Asia Minor. Right. You understand? Keep reading. One, like unto Son of Man. One, like it unto the Son of Man. The Son of Man is referring to Christ. Keep reading. Go with a garment down to the foot. Christ now is describing what he had on first. Christ had on a garment clothed down to the foot. And not that gay Roman toga. You understand? That's not what Christ wore. Whenever they show movies of the Jews, they always portray them as, as wearing rags and cloths. You gotta remember, the Jews are black. You see the same way we dress today? Do we look like bombs out here? Hey, th thank you, <laughs> brother. He tell the truth. Even a brother that's down on his luck look better than, dress better than white people. Right. And you try to shame us for it too. See the black people spending all that money on clothes and just, that's who we are, man. All that bling, all that gold in your mouth. Solomon had gold in his mouth. Right. King David had gold. We've always been a fly people. We've never been bums. You understand? But the, they portray Christ as wearing that Roman toga, looking like a homeless hippie. Right. You understand? He had a garment down to his foot. Can you read it? Oh, and a dirt. Pop the pap with the golden girdle. So now the pap is your midsection. Christ had on a garment, a hardcore garment down to his foot, and then he had a belt going across his garment. Keep reading. His head and his hair. Hold on, so here's the important part. Now we're describing his physical features. What do Christians tell you? Color is not in the Bible. It doesn't matter what Christ looks like. Well, if it doesn't matter, why is it in the Bible? When you say... It doesn't matter what Christ looks like. What you're really saying is the Bible doesn't matter. Right. That's what you're really saying. Because it's in the book. What Jesus Christ looks like is right here in the book. So it does matter. And we're going to show you what he looks like. His head and his hairs. The head on his hair. Excuse me. The hair on his head. And the hair on his face. His hair and his beard. Keep reading. Were white like wool. Jesus Christ's hair and his beard were white like wool. Right. White is the color, wool is the texture. Now let me ask you this, what people have woolly hair? Anybody know? It's not hard, what people have woolly hair? We call it something different today because of white supremacy. We call it nappy today to degrade ourselves. But our hair is woolly. Right. We have woolly hair. Does this picture have woolly hair? That's not woolly hair, that's stringy hair. That's dog hair, that's fur. That's what that picture has. We don't have fur, you understand? And Christ didn't have fur either. He had hair like a black man because Christ was a black man. I'll prove it, keep reading. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ's eyes were red because just like any black man or Hispanic man or Native American, when we start to drink, what happens to our eyes? They start to get red. Everybody know that's how some of you got them DUI tickets. I understand. That's right. We all been there. You understand, unfortunately, in our ignorance. But Christ's eyes were red because Christ drunk wine. He wasn't a drunkard like they tried to claim he was. He wasn't so damn town wine or some lush. That's what that wasn't who Christ was. And they tried to lie and say that was him because Christ did drink wine. It's okay to drink, man. That Christian church would tell you, you wrong for having a little sip, sip. 
put that bottle away. Mm, don't bring no alcohol in my house. But then the Christians let you be let you smoke weed, let you believe to touch kids, the water. You understand? Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. And his feet likened unto fine brass. You want to know what brass looks like? Brass is a derivative of brown. Brass is brown. So now the Bible says that Christ's feet, not his sandals, not his shoes, his feet were brown. Now hold on now. If your feet are brown, what does that mean about the rest of your body? Right. You, that's right. That's <laughs> damn right. <laughs> that's right. You understand? Give him a hand. Right. Because it's common sense. But then you got these white biblical scholars that try to act like this is all a mystery. Like we don't know what the hell common sense is. Well, you can't. Is there a way of really knowing? These records are mysterious. The Bible's been sealed. Nah, man. It's sealed to you because you weren't chosen to break it down. Right. The Lord revealed this understanding to his prophets, and we give it to the people right now. Christ's feet were brown. He read, as if they burn and they burn. As if they what? Burn and they burn. Let me ask everybody a question. If you burn anything, what color does it turn? If you burn it. If you burn anything right now, I'll help you. Fourth of July, when you were celebrating, and them hot dogs was on the grill too long, what color were them hot dogs, them links? That's right, black. When you burn anything, it turns black. Not only was Christ a black man, Christ was a dark-skinned black man. You understand? The same type of black man that you make to feel ugly. You understand? The same skin tone that you make dark-skinned sisters feel like they're unattractive. The same skin tone that you say is, is bad. Christ was a dark-skinned black man according to the records in the Bible. Right. Yeah, I know. I know you hate it. You just turn your nose up. He didn't look like you, Tom. Right. You understand? He looked like us. And you need to get over the, get over the fact that you were lied to. I know many of you white Christians, you can't fathom the idea that your Lord and Savior is a And guess what? He is, man. Right. He's the greatest black man to ever walk the face of the earth. The greatest man in general. But he definitely was black. The Bible says Christ was a dark-skinned black man. What tribe did Christ come from? Anybody know? What tribe does Christ come from? The tribe of Judah. Right. That's where Christ comes from, the tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah comes from what race of people, what nation? The nation of Israel. So if Christ, being a Jew, was black, what does that tell you about the Jews? It's common sense that the Jews are also black. That's right. Christ wasn't an anomaly. He wasn't the only black man that was a Jew and all the rest of them were white. The Jews are black and Christ being a Jew, he was black too, just like his people. Now, my question to you is, why do you have a people that are white claiming to be the Jews? Why do we have that? Why does that exist? If we read in the Bible, the Jews historically have always been black. I'll tell you why. Because the white man is the devil, the Bible speaks of. That's right. why, plain and simple. And that word devil means deceiver, right. liar. And he lied about this Bible. He lied about who we really are. They told us we were African. They told us the original Jews are Ethiopian. Well, that's a lie. We're not African. And the Jews could never be African or Ethiopian. There's two separate bloodlines. Everybody know the story of David and Goliath? Most people have heard of. Do you not know that David and Goliath is an age-old story about a black man, a so-called Negro, versus an African? They weren't coming together. David was against that African Goliath. And Goliath, that African, was against the black man David. And that exists still to this day. We're not the same people. Right. We'll never be the same people. And the quicker we can learn that, we'll be better off. Right. Stop trying to join these Africans. Stop with this fascination with the Africa and the motherland. Yeah, Babylon is falling.